What is up my dudes? Today we're gonna do a full day of eating, but this time I'm gonna track all the food I eat and I'm gonna put it all into Chronometer, which is a website that allows you to basically view like the nutrient breakdown of all the foods. So we're gonna see, am I getting all the protein? Am I getting all the minerals and the vitamins on the vegan diet? Let's check it out. Good morning to you too, Jessica. Good morning to you too. First thing I'm having is just a drink. Now this looks like a mighty concoction if you ask me. Um, I try to have this most mornings. I definitely don't have it every morning, but I try to have it every maybe like every second morning. All right, let's go through this. Lemon and ginger herbal tea. And then we got a load of spices. So I've got like cayenne pepper, turmeric and black pepper because black pepper helps the absorption of turmeric. I've got cinnamon and then I've got lemon juice. I've actually got some Complete greens from my protein. Loads of brands sell these kind of stuff. They're basically like super greens. So there'll be a lot of dark leafy greens condensed into a powder form so that you can drink them if you don't want to eat like, you know, loads and loads and loads of broccoli. So yeah, it's really, really good to get in the vitamins. So the taste is, it's pretty strong. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's a really strong taste. Because it's so strong from all the spices and that, it does really wake you up. So it's a pretty nice way to start your morning. Yeah. Right, I'm going to the gym. I just had my little morning drink, hit a morning workout. It's gonna be good. We'll see you for breakfast. Well, hey, sick gym session just done. I uh, hit pretty much a full body workout because I'm going to Paris tomorrow. So I just wanted a general, you know, bit of a sweat all over the body, bit of a pump everywhere. So I'm hungry now. It is just coming up to one o'clock. Just on the way back from the gym, I had a really, really small apple and then one orange. Let's get the post-workout oats in, man. This is technically, I guess, breakfast, but it's early lunchtime, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna weigh out the ingredients now. Gonna put them in the pot. Normally I would make overnight oats, but I didn't last night, so I'm gonna make them now. I'm gonna cook them on the hob. Okay, so I'm gonna put the oats yeah, I'm just gonna do them with water and I will just add 100 ml, yeah, I'll add 100 ml of soy milk and then afterwards I'll put in this other stuff I'm gonna put in, such as like flaxseed, cacao powder, uh, protein powder, and then some fruits like banana, berries, and raisins. Let's start cooking. Boom! So, we fitted it all in, that's it. That is the oats masterpiece. This is gonna be so filling and satiating, especially after the workout. I'll check back in for the second meal. 
Okay, so I'm finally getting in my second meal. It is, let me check the time, nearly five o'clock. So I ate probably about one o'clock. So I'm just gonna use whole grain brown bread, Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages. I'm gonna put in some hummus, some avocado, tiny bit of tahini, and then I'm gonna put in some veg. Avocado, tomato, tahini, hummus, a little bit of spinach. I'm cutting it like you'd cut a mango. So I don't know does this work, but let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at that it does. Boom, finished product, look at that. So we've got the avocado, the spinach, hummus, uh, tomato, and then the veggie sausages. Oh yes. Yeah, this is gonna be tasty. It's only a bagel, so it's small enough, but there's a lot in it. There's a lot of protein from the sausages, decent vitamins and nutrients and good fats and all that from avocado, spinach, and the likes. meal that I ate so it was three meals in total and the last meal was crispy potatoes a meat-free mince kind of bolognese mix that I made up which is some sauce and spices like paprika tomato puree etc etc so then I had vegetables in there like broccoli yellow pepper onion it was good it's really tasty really filling so now I'm gonna hop into the computer over to the laptop we're gonna look at the macro and micronutrient breakdown of the food that I ate, so let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go on to chronometer now. I've put in all the foods, so let's take a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at the macronutrients here. So you'll see I ate 300 grams of carbs, 87 grams of fat, and 133 grams of protein. So that works out as 21% protein, 46% carbs, and 31% fat. So fat is a lot higher than I would normally eat. So that's mainly due to things like avocado, tahini, and nuts. So in my normal day, I, may, I wouldn't eat those every day. So this is a high fat day. And then when we come to the micronutrients, I'm going to just look through all like the vitamins and minerals. I have most of them, but there's some that are like a little low. So let's just run through them. So we have all of B1, B2, uh, nearly have all of B3, so we have 94%, which is, you can pretty much say that's, you know, that's sufficient. All of B5, all B6, loads of B12 actually, wow. From the green mix that I had, the soy milk, that boosted the B12. A supplement as well, just to make sure, because you definitely don't want to be deficient in B12. Got all of folate, all of vitamin A, all of vitamin C. Didn't get all of vitamin D, but that's because you only get it in fortified foods. So I'd say I got it from, yeah, protein powder and soy milk. When it's sunny here, I will just get it naturally. And if it's not a sunny day, I will just take a supplement that day if it's not sunny. So it's just really B3, which is pretty much covered, 94%, and vitamin E, which is 88%. So if I just eat some extra quinoa and avocados, I would definitely get the vitamin E up there. So then when we come to minerals, we see that there's three here that aren't fully covered. Potassium is 72%, so I guess, yeah, I could obviously eat more bananas and avocados coming up along with quinoa again. So as you've seen, I could eat avocado and quinoa basically to boost mm, multiple of the minerals and vitamins. So that would be a good idea. I could reduce foods then that don't have as much uh, nutrient content. Basically, you will just get iodine from, I think it's algae and things of that nature seaweed and certain other greens like that so every couple of days i will make sure to get some of that stuff into me because that's important i have dry seaweed that i sometimes just like crumble up and throw down my neck <laughs> so calcium is just under 60 percent which ideally you want to be getting more uh that's you know it's a really important one calcium so i will definitely try and up my intake of calcium obviously soy milk helps a lot along with the chickpeas I only had 100 mils of soy milk, so I could easily just bump that up. Okay, so fats. 
Yeah, all covered. Um, the, yeah, I noticed there's actually trans fat in tahini. So if that's the case, I may stop using tahini because trans fats are not good. So my omega-3 to omega-6 ratio is not ideal. A lot of people aim for 2 to 1. Here, mine is a lot higher than that. It's over 10 to 1. So I will try and eat more omega-3s, more flax and more chia seeds. And the moment everybody's been waiting for, yes, the protein is covered. So I got 133 grams of protein, which is way above what I actually need for my body weight. Got all of the amino acids, including the essential ones. As you can see here, all are pretty much well covered. So there we have it. That's on a normal day of eating decently high protein for me. And as you see, yes, there was no problem in covering all the amino acids. Vegans can get complete proteins. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, this is just to show you, you can indeed get all the vitamins, minerals, protein, fats, carbs, everything you need on whatever diet it is, but in my case, a vegan diet. So obviously we've seen there's a couple of minerals and vitamins I need to get more of, such as calcium, potassium, and vitamin E, and I just gotta continue doing what I'm doing and eating those good foods. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the video there. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.